Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to look at Amazon EMR and in particular uh, run through our first Spark job. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is navigate to EMR which stands for Elastic Map Reduce, um, which is uh, as it says here is a web service that enables business and researchers, data and analysts and developers to easily and cost effectively process vast amounts of data. So it really lets you uh, analyze big data through parallel processing and clusters. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is create a cluster, uh, give it a useful name, I'm going to call it demo, um, just so I remember to delete. We're going to use the Spark cluster and we're just going to do some basics today so we won't do anything with the, with the catalog yet. Um, we'll keep it as an M5 and we'll change it to 1, so technically not a cluster, we just have a master node but um, keep it nice and cheap. Uh, you won't need an ECT uh, keep her today to log in but if you have one um, pick one and then you always have it for later let it create its own role let it create its own instance role and then create cluster okay that's off and running uh, it can take up to half an hour to get a cluster up and running so I'm going to pause the demo here and then we'll pick it up uh, once it's up and running okay that took about five minutes um, to get up and running as you can see that it's waiting and the cluster is ready um, if you hit the drop down you get a wee bit of information about your DNS of your master node uh, the steps that have been completed so far how long it's been up and running and if you actually click into the cluster itself you get a bit more information uh, such as like you know if you want to SSH in using your your key pair, uh, you've got like your Spark server, your Yarn Runtime server, and if you click on those, then it just kind of like spins and opens them up for you. Um, you've got your login URL, subnet ID, and it shows that your master node is running. So, what we're going to do is actually submit a job through the step uh, function, so we can actually submit a job uh, that. In this case, it's going to be Spark, and we're just going to set that code on S3 and then pick it up, run on the master node, and see the results. It's a very quick test just that makes Spark is up and running. And as this is just an introduction, perfect, it'll be perfect for us. So the script itself is actually freely available on GitHub uh, in the Apache Spark repo. I'll put the link below. And you just need to take that file and see if it's somewhere that is logical because we're going to upload it to S3. So I'm just going to use uh, VS Code. I'm going to call this pi dot py um, and then we're just going to paste it in and what this script actually does uh oops, a little update sorry what this script actually does is just uh, give an approximation of pi as in pi the mathematical term uh not python <laughs> so it'll just run through pi spark uh do a couple of partitions and then calculate an approximation of pi if you don't understand uh really what what that means it doesn't really matter we're essentially just going to submit a script and it's going to run on Spark and then spit us out a result. So save that file. Remember where you've saved it. Back into the console. Go to S3. Load up uh, S3 bucket. And then somewhere logical. So I, I have a demo bucket. You can go to any bucket you want to create one. And you need to go and upload or drag and drop uh, where you've put that file. So mine is in my documents. It's in my visual code documents. It's in my demo pi. Open. Uh, upload. Next, next, next upload It'll take a few seconds perfect back on the EMR cluster if you go to it make sure you're now in the drop down so drop down add step uh, we are going to run a spark application we're going to give that application pi up just so we know uh, in the location to the folder that we've just uploaded so if we go to my demo bucket and uh, we load the pi file we select uh, action on failure uh just continue it just means it'll carry on if there was any other jobs to queue we're going to add that job and it's going to start so if we click then into the job we get a little bit of like uh what's happening so it'll be in a pending status for a couple of couple of seconds hopefully i'll pause the video here and then once we're up and running and this has started to do something um i'll turn the video back on okay as you can see um the job has actually uh, started up and running there. Um, you can see it's been going for three, 33 seconds, status is running and the ID. And if you just keep click and refresh, it'll go through different statuses. So you actually get two logs as well. Uh, one's the controller log and one's the output log. So if you click onto them, it loads up a web page and it lets you go through and see what's happening uh, with your log itself. Um, and as you can see on this log, really what we're looking for here is the fact that it um, it succeeded so we can see that our job uh, succeeded and 
Yep. And if we just keep refreshing, eventually you'll see that the job becomes complete. And then back on this page, if we just refresh one more time, you can see that the cluster is waiting, ready to go. You can see that the job itself was complete. Um, if you view the monitoring details, you can see that our cluster is sitting ready to go. Then one last thing we can actually do is look at the look at the actual monitoring details of the cluster. So if you go to view, view cluster details, and then we go to the Spark history on the server itself, um, you'll see the application job that we submitted here. Um, you can download the event log on the right hand side. We can also click into the application ID. And we can go down and see that actually there was two uh, stages to this and that was actually due to the code itself and you can see that both were completed successfully they took one second in time and actually you can get the logs as well uh, can take a few seconds to appear um, off this mount mechanism and if you open up the zip file um, there you will get the actual event itself um yep job succeeded yep so that's really it um as an introduction to Spark uh, and EMR. It's a very basic uh, script that, that, that just runs um, a couple of specified specified map reduces and then uh, spits out a file. Uh, as usual, I'll make all this information freely available on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.